Before the break, we have broke the news that the BJP has already won in four constituencies in the NCHSC polls. Now, they have won from the Mohor constituency with Propitra Chohari winning from the Mohor constituency, while flaming Rupsi Shila winning from the Chattinga constituency and two others as well. Now, if you look at the polls, if you look at the trends here that are flashing on your screen, now the BJP, they are leading in 10 seats. Now, the counting for the polls is going on and the BJP, as I mentioned before, they had already won six seats uncontested. Now, the trends show that BJP are already leading in 10 seats apart from the four other seats that they have won. Now, I'm being joined by my colleague Arindam Das, who is right there at the venue. He'll be providing us minute-to-minute -minute updates. So, Arindam, if you are there... Yes, Arindam, if you are there now, the BJP, they have already secured four early wins giving a big jolt to the Congress and the Ahmadmi Party, the Trinamool, and the Independent as well. Now, according to you, what, are, what do the trends look like to the Congress, the Ahmadmi Party, or the Trinamool Congress and Independent? Look, do they have any chances of winning any of the seats? Uh, that's right. You see, uh, counting has uh, begun and... Uh, Trends have also started emerging. In fact, uh, four candidates have been declared a winner. They are all BJP candidates. And uh, what we have seen here is that uh, the fight is basically between uh, the BJP and the independent candidates and uh, BJP and the TMC somewhere. But uh, the Congress uh, significantly is nowhere in the scene. Congress seems to be out of the race, so that is a big uh, development that is emerging from the counting of uh, NC autonomous county elections. Uh, and as I have said, uh, that uh, early trends have already started emerging, and in fact, uh, four candidates have been declared a winner, and they are all uh, BJP candidates uh, from various constituencies. Uh, so right now, uh, the counting is underway, and as I have said, uh, that uh, uh, another say uh, four four, four uh, candidates have been declared a winner. Another uh, uh, over. Uh, t uh, 22 uh, candidates uh, uh, are to be uh, 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 announced. Uh, so uh, right now, counting is underway for all the 22 uh, uh, seats. And in fact, uh, you know that uh, in six of the seats uh, already, uh, six BJP candidates have uh, been declared winners as uncontested. Uh, and uh, so six out of the 28 uh, total seats, uh, six have been already declared winners as uncontested uh, winners. And uh, in fact, today, the counting is underway for the re remaining 22 cons consequences. Right. And in that 22 seats, uh, the early trend that is emerging is that uh, four candidates, uh, all from the BJP, are declared uh, winners. And uh, the fight, as I have said, that it is basically between uh, the BJP and the TMC, BJP and the independent, mostly it's between the BJP and the independent at most of the seats. Uh, so the Congress party significantly in this uh, NC sort of Right, right. Now, now, Arindam, now, Arindam, what has the BJP done differently that they are hoping to sweep the polls? What has the BJP done differently this time? Uh, can you please repeat the question? Yes, Arindam, I just asked you what the BJP has done differently in these elections. What has they done differently? Well, uh, BJP, uh, we have seen how aggressively BJP has gone ahead with the campaigning. In fact, uh, Ch Chief Minister of Assam uh, has campaigned uh, for in over uh, two uh, dozen uh, uh, rallies uh, and in fact that's how BJP went ahead aggressively with the, their campaigning. In fact, uh, the council was with the BJP only uh, and uh, Deborah Garlosa uh, is the incumbent uh, CEM of uh, and still sort of, uh, uh, district council. So uh, BJP has gone ahead aggressively for uh, their campaigning. In fact, uh, we have seen that the Congress party also went on the ground uh, for, for campaigning. In fact, uh, the TMC uh, which is a, a new party uh, in the in this front. Uh, they are also uh, trying hard uh, to gain ground here in the hill district of uh, NC Hills. And that's what we have seen TMC going ahead with their campaigning aggressively. And on, on the other hand, uh, the independent candidates are also standing as a factor in this uh, election. And as I have said, that uh, from the trend that is emerging right now from the counting, that uh, four candidates have been declared winners uh, and they are all BJP candidates. And 
the fight the fight that that's i'm i'm mentioning is the basically it is seen that it is the fight between the bjp and the independent candidates or it is the bjp and the tmc candidates somewhere so the congress party which is a very old party who ha which had earlier uh, held uh, this uh, uh, NC Hills as their bastion is uh, losing their ground and in fact that's why probably uh, we are seeing that uh, in the race uh, the fight is basically between the BJP and the independent candidates mostly and in some seats it's BJP and the TMC candidates but the Congress seems to be nowhere in the race uh, and so right. th this is uh, going to be a big factor because uh, we, we know that uh, Rahul Gandhi will be starting his uh, Bharat Joronya Yatra and uh, they, though they are saying it's, it's, it's an apolitical Yatra uh, but uh, somewhere it's it's political because uh, the Lok Sabha elections are nearing and uh, this uh, election is uh, very significant because uh, probably this is the last election in uh, Assam uh, which is being held before the Lok Sabha elections and the results of this election will show uh, how uh, the Lok Sabha elections uh, will, will be in Assam and that's what we can say that uh, as I've said that uh, this is very significant because Rahul Gandhi will be starting the Bharat Jodhaniya Yatra from Manipur it will pass through Assam though, though they are saying that it's an apolitical Yatra but it is uh, political because uh, it is done keeping in view the upcoming Lok Sabha polls so in this election uh, as I have said that it is very significant to see the trend right now, the early trend, right. because uh, four candidates have been declared winners, and they are all right. uh, BJP candidates. And uh, in the in the remaining seats, also we are seeing that it is a fight between the BJP and that's the right. independent candidates, and the BJP and that's the right. That's right, that's right, Arindam Das. Well, thank you very much for the updates, and we will be coming back to you in the later bulletins.